Let's talk about be breach feeders uh, criteria for possible breach delivery term frank or complete breach no feeder anomalies maternal pelvic adequate 2500 to 4000 grams fetal head flexion documented 3 centimeter vertical pocket documented usually induction or augmentation is not offered recommendation <coughs> ECV should be offered planned vaginal breach is reasonable under hospital specific protocol guidelines detailed informed consent should be documented risk of perinatal or neonatal mortality or short-term serious neonatal morbidity may be higher than planned c-section lower term benefits longer term benefits of planned c-section is less clear in 2002 rate of c-section for breach is 85 percent Perinatal mortality, neonatal mortality, and serious neonatal morbidity lower in planned C-section, 5% versus 1.5%. ECV led to a reduction in C-section delivery of 50% with no significant difference in maternal and fetal complications. Epidural uh, or spinal anesthesia significantly increased the success rate from 40% to 60%.